See that I am not disturbed. As you wish, sir. General! I thought you weren't coming. <laughs> Do you miss me? You were hiding. No, never. Get to the base. Oh, what's my dishes? <laughs> right. Good. That's good. That's my God. That is the man called Shatter. Yeah. <laughs> 
好的，很掉气啊。那么谢谢。表现。好，我们就上去了。这么大，好，太大了。我今天很累。Quiet room. I don't like being disturbed. 
Excuse me, miss. I want to see you, Mr. Hans Leber. Just one moment. Tell him it's Shatter. I want to see him now. There's a Mr. Shatter to see you, sir. Oh, yes. I see him right away. Nice meeting you, Mr. Leber. What is it you want, Mr. Shatter? Well, you know why I'm here. I don't know that I do. But I'm listening. Well, I just finished a job. A very unpleasant one in Paula Ware. You know all about it. The sum agreed upon was for 100,000 American dollars, payable in Hong Kong at this address. By you, in cash. I uh, fear, Mr. Shatter, you have acquired also a... Uh... Touch of the sun while it's in Africa. Now, you listen to me. As soon as I stepped off that plane, somebody put a finger on me. Now, maybe it's because somebody in Badawi didn't want to pick up the tab. But I'm a professional. I get paid for my work, always. Now, you listen to me, you shatter. Do you really expect me to hand over such a large amount of money to you? Just like that? Involve myself and this bank? I haven't got time to argue the finer details. Now, pay up, Leber, and I'll get out of your hair. Proof, Mr. Shatter. I require proof. Now, I'm a banker. I represent some important, some official agencies beyond the frontiers of Batavi, that is quite true. And they are very powerful agencies, Mr. Shatter. Now, you say you have performed a service to them. I would have to have full proof that it was you who performed such a service. You uh, appreciate my position, I'm quite sure. As you can see, both the camera and the gun were in good working order. Well? I think you should leave, Mr. Shatter, right now. I think you should also go back to the lunatic asylum, you escaped from. Oh, no. Oh, get out. You're crazy. Now I only have to press this button and this whole office crawls with our security officers. I show them those pictures here. And you get arrested for murder. The head of state assassination. You get put up against a post and shot, Mr. Shatter. The money lay there. I don't know anything about any money. I don't know anything about any job. Get out. You're going to pay me, lay there. Maybe not now. Maybe not here. But you're going to pay me. And it's going to be a hell of a lot more than a lousy hundred thousand dollars. See you, Mr. Yip. What about something in a hop sack? How about something in chrome steel? Bullets bounce off it. It's nice to know you still have a sense of humor, Shatter. It's rapidly turning sour, Mr. Yip. You might tell the agency that the next time you talk to Washington. They already know that. Now, look, I've been handed some very dirty jobs. But that last one in Africa, 
That was the nastiest. Now, you assigned me the contract, and I expect... No, what does that mean? We did not assign you anything. It was not from us. Now, you better stop giving me that shit. My instructions came through the usual channels in the usual code. I do not care where it came from. It did not come from us. You're gonna be putting me on. They are very upset in Washington about the whole situation. President McGoy's death is a grave embarrassment. It's no secret that they wanted him out. But not that way. Who gave me the contract? I do not know. You better start sorting things out. Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? Nothing at all. Shatter, that is from top. You're finished. You are bad news. It is like you're dead. They do not want you anymore. Do not even know you anymore. You are like the plague. Remember, Shatter, you are on your own. Completely on your own. Thank you. Must have been something you said. Police. My name's Ratwood. Security division, actually. Same thing. I suppose so, technically speaking. Doesn't really matter. Shatter. You're marked, Shatter. You're wearing a neon sign. A great embarrassment to a lot of people. Am I? The last plane out of Kaitak Airport tonight leaves for Manila at 8.28. Be on it. Or any flight before. But don't be here in the morning. Or we'll have you floating face downwards in the harbour. I promise. Oh no, I shouldn't bother to get up if I'm you. They'll only knock you down again.
下去看看那个外国人。他需要你帮助Have you been fighting, Johnny? It's all been one-sided. Go trouble? No, not this time. Where am I? Golden Blossom Bar and Massage Parlor. Special perfect room. $20 one hour. Go extra. You want a massage? Uh. You want a drink? That is a better idea. White rum, Bacardi. Big one, plenty of ice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to get drunk, Johnny? Like all the rest? Name's not Johnny. Everyone who comes in here is called Johnny. What you prefer? Darling? Sweetheart? Honey? If I wanted some sweet talk and a massage, I'd pay for it and come through the front door now, wouldn't I? My name is Mei Ling. I'm sorry, Mei Ling. I think maybe I do need that massage. A little better? Not better. You are in Hong Kong on business? Yes. Staying long? No. On the other hand, it might be for the rest of my life. All eight or nine hours of it. I don't understand. 
You are leaving me now? Yes. You will see me again before you leave Hong Kong? I'll try. Not here. Okay. What shall I call you? Johnny. No. Try Shadow. That's not a name. Yeah. More like a way of life.
Find it, it'd be worth a hundred dollars to me. What is it? It's a place where I can stretch out, get some sleep. A safe place. A price, Mr. Shutter, a safe one. Who does it belong to? Me. It is part of my school. What school? Please excuse me, I have an appointment. Hey, just a second. I'll see you later, Mr. Shatter. anybody else here I'm sorry if I frightened you you live here sometimes with him his name is Taipa would you like something to drink he said that I could stay here for a few days I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. He asked me to look after you. Why are you here? Well, the place I was staying at got a little too hot. <laughs> they can happen anywhere. Uh, to you. Why me? Well, right now, you're the only friend I've got. I'm very happy to be a friend. You have troubles. Well, doesn't everybody? If I'm your friend, I would like to help. It's what friends are for. It must be bad trouble. You feel for your life. Now, how could you know that? Come with me. 
Where? I think you need more than just a good friend. Show you kung fu. Tai Pa, he is the master. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is now our great pleasure to present for the first time in Hong Kong an invitation free fighting contest. First, Lee Wai Luni of Seoul, the Kwando champion of Korea. Karate champion from Japan, Takashi of Yokohama. <laughs> Kim Myu Kil from Bangkok, boxing champion of Thailand. And now the challenger, Tai Pa of Hong Kong, our own Kung Fu champion. The organizers and contestants have agreed that the exhibition remain within the mat area. Contestants having both feet of the mat will automatically be disqualified. The referee, Mr. Hanson Lee. Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah
Come with us, Mr. Leber is waiting. strange one. You can put on an exhibition like you did tonight when you're working a one shot bar. I don't get it. Tai Ba is not paid for being a master of Kung Fu. Nobody could. How much, Mr. Shet? A hell of a lot more than you'd know. 
And you have the money? Well, not yet. But I've got something that somebody wants real badly. And they're going to pay dearly for it. What is it? It's a list of names and addresses. Is that all? Well, there's one address that seems to be more important than the others. The Isabel Casino in Macau. You know it? But how can this be so important? Well, I don't know yet. I just know that it is. And what do you want me to do? I want you to help keep me alive until I collect it. And for it, I'll cut you in for half. It sounds generous. And it's worth it to me. You have a bargain, Mr. Shetter. The snake here is excellent. You should try some. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it is. I'm sorry, honey. I must have been having a bad dream. Nightmare? No. Just a past coming back. He must be bad. Yeah. You could say that. Then why? I've asked myself that question so many times. What is the answer? I didn't get one. I want one. Well, let's just say that there's something that I've been trained for. To be an exterminator. I want you to stop. The only way I can stop is to be stopped like I've stopped so many others. I love you so much. Okay, don't be late. Did you speak to him? I did. I've got an appointment with him. I got one more rat to flush out.
I borrow a car. Good. Are you good with this? Yes. I find them obscene. Indelicate things. Being followed. Good. They're on me sooner than I expected. Now take them someplace secluded. with you, Shatter, is that you don't take advice, do you? Seems the delights of Hong Kong have proved irresistible. Tell the girl and your driver to go away. Take the car with them. Something else again, isn't he, Redwood? His name is Taipa. He thinks that guns are obscene and indelicate things. into the car. Stay there.
Well now, shatter. What is it you want? Answers. There's no need to do that. You assassinated General Ansabi Magoya. It was no political gambit to rid the country of a decadent tyrant. The people who contracted you for the kill were not political opponents. The British government or the CIA are in no way involved. If they really wanted Magoya dead, they would have staged a simple accident. Your little operation had all the subtlety of a three-winged circus. Who did contract me? Don't you know? As you say, Magoya was a tyrant, a lousy dictator. And everyone he oppressed must have wanted his death. <laughs> oh, what a charming little innocent you are. The gallant mercenary selling his sword or his gun for some splendid cause. But Darby was run not by Magoya, but by a crime syndicate. A massive one with threads leading back to the Mafia and the criminal elite of half a dozen countries. Hans Leber, the man you were supposed to get your money from, is the international banker. They supplied Magoya with arms to keep his shaky little regime in power. Now, he paid for those arms in opium, harvested from secret crops opium. growing in the southern regions of Sudan. Does that shock you? Oh, surely not. It doesn't shock me. But the opium is part of my business, security and narcotics division. That's how I came to be involved. I've had the tabs on labor for a long time. Here, on my car. Uh-huh. So the rumor was right. You did pinch those papers. They'll be the death of you, Shatter. Believe me. They list the locations of all the secret European laboratories. The laboratories that turn the raw opium into high-grade cocaine. Marseille, Madrid, Antwerp, Munich, Birmingham, Milan, Palermo, a host of other places. And from them, the muck goes all over the world and is financed from here, or Macau. Unfortunately, Macau is not my jurisdiction. Even the Portuguese are only in token control. Get back to Magoya. Well, Magoya got delusional grandeur. He decided he could rule his country without the aid of his Hong Kong connection and found he could get all the guns he needed from Red China and the cost was minimal. So that's when the flow of raw opium to the European laboratory stopped. Abruptly. And Magoya had to die. <laughs> Dramatically. And a new man would have to take his place, financed by the syndicate. You see, sometimes you can use your brains. If he wins, you might stand a remote chance. That's not enough. The lead story in this morning's newspapers reports that the ex-dictator's regime, despite Magoya's death, is still holding the balance of power in Badawi. It is now being led by Nsabi Magoya's brother, Colonel Dabula. Now, he has promised an early capture of the assassin, who will be brought to trial in Palawea. <laughs> don't you find that interesting? Ah, uh, what it is to be needed and wanted, eh? Regrettably, he wants to prove that you are an agent of the Western powers. The article even hints that you're hiding out in Hong Kong. And goes on to say that the Bula's people are hard on your heels. That is the embarrassment. If they found me dead, my body floating in the harbor, the embarrassment would end. Immediately. So everyone's on your back. Me, Labour, the Syndicate, and dear old Colonel de Bula. I expect he's very angry with you. The Africans aren't too keen about people who go around shooting their brothers. Ratwood, about the papers. Hmm? What would they be worth to you? Your life, perhaps, would give you protection. But you'd have to stay in Hong Kong for the rest of your days. Can get rather claustrophobic. I'm talking about money. Oh dear, you do drive a hard bargain, don't you, old boy? How much? Well, I suppose a grateful British government might be able to scrape up 10,000 pounds sterling for services rendered. Oh, and for that, we'd need labor too. Preferably dead. 10,000 pounds. That's less than 25,000 dollars. Money's a bit tight these days, you know. Still, for that amount, you could buy yourself a little business in Hong Kong. Maybe a backstreet bar in Wan Chai. Oh, you would survive. Just think about it. Ratwood. You're a bastard. 
Yes, aren't I? And you're a mad dog killer, my friend. I advise you to get back to your lair and contemplate. Oh, and keep those papers safe, eh? Your life depends on them. Strict fighting in Panawea continues, although it is said that the rebel forces of Dr. Peter Mabili are... What's that name again? Dr. Peter Mabili. That's him. That's the syndicate man that they're backing to win. That the rebel forces of Dr. Peter Mabili are being contained by the loyalist government troops of Colonel Tapula, younger brother of the recently assassinated president. Peter Mabili, you have been found guilty of high treason and will be sentenced to death without further appeal. Ratwood or LeBear, either one of them. Everyone wants something for nothing. Half a million dollars will make it right. Will it? And I know the man that'll pay it. Looks like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. And what is it you want this time? Million dollars. Mixed denominations. Used bills. For what? For the information that was in that briefcase. One million dollars, that's a great deal of money. I see the price has gone up. Hundred thousand dollars for Magoya. That was the deal. The balance for damages. It's peanuts to the syndicate. All right. All right, I have the money paid into a Swiss bank. No, you won't. You'll deliver it personally, and I'll tell you where and when. Don't worry, Lebert. No harm will come to you. Nobody crosses the syndicate. 
Not even you, Mr. Shatter. Not even me. All right. I'm getting here, didn't you? And what do you have in mind now? We take a little walk. Then we make the exchange. All right. Let's go.
you must have looked on death many times before. She had no part of this filthy business. This filthy business started in East Africa. Didn't you fire the first shot? It's not over yet. It's Macau now, isn't it? Isabel Casino. Exactly, 30 minutes. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Are you a member? No, I'm not. I've been thinking about it. May I ask your name and the name of your sponsor, please? My name is Shatter. I think you'll find that Hans Bear will vouch for me. Excuse me. Shatter is here now, sir. Mr. Bear was not expecting you, but he will receive you now. This way, please. You must be quite mad coming here. Why? You owe me a million bucks. I've come to collect. You're not going to be executed here and now, Mr. Shatter. We are going to have your ship back to... Uh... I think we finished later. Thank you very much. Palavaya. Well, just for the record, it's not one of my favorite holiday resorts for many reasons, Mr. Lebear. One of them being the watermelon. Gives you the running shit. Oh, that's cute. Real cute. And I presume that's Colonel Dabula, the new president. Mm -hmm. Oh, fits very nicely, doesn't it? Dear old Colonel Dabula Magoya, the savior of his people, is a syndicate man. That makes you the one that hired me to put the hit on your own brother. Oh, it fits. It all fits very nicely. So now all he's got to do is to step in and take over the country. Keep the opium safe. The guns keep coming in. What? No, sir! Colonel Dabula. We'll be taking you back to Palavaya, Mr. Shatter. There, you will stand trial for the assassination of General Antabi Magoya, late president of the Republic of Badavi. And uh, you will also go back willingly. Afterwards, you'll be publicly executed. 
Magdorothy. Now that I know how all the pieces fit together, do you think I'm going to keep my big mouth shut? Oh, yes. I think you will, Mr. Shepard. You will tell the world nothing. Because, you see, you're going to stand before your prosecutors at the trial. You You're going to cut your vocal cords. The Sicilian mafiosa are past masters at this art, you know, Mr. Shatter. But I fear here you will have to put up with us amateurs. You understand, Colonel Dabula needs to show his trial. He needs to involve the British government. He needs to show that it was they who contracted you, and not him. I'm sure you follow me.
that's right. Never trust anyone, especially in Hong Kong. It'll help you buy that bar in Wan Chai. There'll be a heavy mortgage, so perhaps it's just as well you're here for life. Give you time to pay it off, if you live that long. Once in a while, you might even find yourself smiling. Thank you.